Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here, realtor in Austin, Texas, back with another model home walkthrough. Today we're going through the Nueces plan with Taylor Morrison. This plan is over 2,900 square feet. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom. And before we walk through the home, if you did not like how the exterior looked, know that there are some options. Let me show you. Just so you have an idea on the different elevations that Taylor Morrison offers, they currently have the model home designed with this elevation, but if you do not like the rectangular look of this elevation, just know that they do have different options that they usually offer that will give you a little bit more of a pitch look if that's what you prefer. And if they are offering a to be built option, meaning you're building from scratch, usually you can select these elevations and there, there could be upgrade costs that come with it. Now, if they are building inventory homes, yes, Taylor Morrison's going to select which elevation they are, are gonna be building, but they're usually not gonna be building the same elevation over and over again. Otherwise, that makes the neighborhood feel a little bit more cookie cutter. Hence why they offer different options, just so when you're driving through the neighborhood, it feels different from home to home, even if it's a similar plan multiple times on a street. Uh, while we're here, I wanted to just quickly look at the floor plan. Uh, as you first walk in, as you'll see here in a second, they do have an office with optional double doors and I uh, highly recommend getting that type of upgrade uh, simply because this office does face out to the stairwell. And assuming that this bonus room could get a little bit noisy, uh, you'll see it's a very large game room or what they're calling a bonus room. So if you wanna put a pool table here or a play area uh, with that noise coming in from the stairwell, it would definitely make sense to put those optional doors in. But uh, as you'll see here, it opens up really well in the common areas. A lot of pluses for this type of home over 2,900 square feet. Back to the video. As we walk into the front door, you'll see an office on the left side and stairwell on the right. And it does open up really well into the second story. So you, you feel that open concept as soon as you walk in, which is great. Uh, on the left side, as I mentioned before, there are double doors that are offered here or French doors. And so if you do value that privacy for this study, uh, this is a good option to have. And keep in mind, this is also a four bedroom with a study. So this isn't counting as one of the bedrooms, even though it does come with this closet that's currently uh, included in the base price of the home. Uh, we'll go upstairs in a second. I'd love to show that game room. So feel free to hang tight. Uh, you'll see that the uh, second floor game room is massive. Definitely a really good plus for this floor plan. On the left side here, we do have a powder bathroom. And then as we pan out to the common areas here, you'll see it opens up really well into the kitchen, dining, and living room. All a combined space with a lot of windows. As you'll see, there are about five or six windows if you're including the patio door window. Uh, these are gonna be nine foot tall ceilings. Uh, so if you do want higher ceilings, uh, you know, just know that there's usually gonna be a higher cost for that. Uh, this type of plan, the uh, cost on it is very reasonable for a couple communities that it's built in. Uh, but I'll get into that in a second. Uh, as you saw there, that would be the laundry room. And then that door would lead to your two car garage. And it's a good size kitchen island, as you see there, three large chairs. Uh, and we're going to take a look at the pantry, which I would say is a fairly standard size for this amount of square footage. And just know this model home currently has the microwave above the stovetop. Sometimes they could have a vent hood option. It just depends on if you're doing a to be built or um, an inventory home. And then also it depends on the community that you're buying this home in. And really good look at how open the space is here. Uh, that's a six seater dining table and still room for the patio door to swing out. And what I've noticed recently with outdoor areas is a lot of builders are starting to design their inventory homes with an extended covered patio. Of course, we want to verify this depending on the home that they're building, but this would be the smallest patio that they have, which is usually like a 10 by 10. Uh, if you take a look through the um, windows back there, and we'll see it again here in the living room, it's possible that extended patio would go out all the way to that third window that you see on the far side there, uh, which really opens up the space well when you walk outside. 
rather than having that small patio. Again, that's something that we do want to verify um, if that's something that they offer, which they usually do, or if it's on their inventory home. Over to the owner's bedroom. Uh, again, a lot of natural light coming in, really good windows with Taylor Morrison. Uh, it's usually one of the pluses that they have. And then into the owner's bathroom. Again, you know, take some of these designs for, uh, with a grain of salt, I should say, uh, there are changes that they're constantly making where uh, so I've seen in one of their neighborhoods from the owner's tub, as you see here, to the owner's shower, they actually have a transom window. So that transom window that's above the tub that's bringing in some natural light would actually go into the owner's shower. Assuming you're probably gonna use your owner's shower almost every day, maybe not the bathtub as much. So one of the uh, changes that I've seen them recently made uh, in one of the communities that they're building this plan in. And again, for an owner's closet at this type of square footage, I would say this is a fairly uh, standard size. And we can always talk to them about what built-ins they're doing. Sometimes they do built-in shelves like that. Sometimes they just do one shelf with the rods. But if you are looking to upgrade uh, your closet, there are usually really good third-party vendors now that can come in after closing and quickly uh, you know, build out something within your closet and customize it to what you really like. So really good space here. Uh, that's a closet on the left side, so I did not open it uh, just because it's a fairly standard uh, uh, closet right outside the owner's bedroom. And again, love the windows, love the space that's here. And uh, for the amount of space you get on the common areas for this plan, and then you'll see here in a second as we go upstairs, for the amount of space you also get upstairs, I think for people that are looking for a two-story, maybe to get a little bit of privacy, they want that common area where they're cooking and then anyone else playing in the home, uh, I won't mention any names, but anyone else playing in the home can just kind of go into the game room area and you'll see this game room as we pan over to it, opens up really well. Um, I love the shuffleboard uh, touch that they put in here with the very large couch. I know if you're looking at this from a video, it's difficult to imagine um, or imagine yourself there, I should say, but always look at the furniture. If we, as we pan back over to that game room, uh, you'll see that the uh, couch is massive that they have in there and they still have room for a large coffee table and a shuffleboard. We'll come back to that in a second, but first I wanna show one of the three bedrooms that are on the second floor. So we have three bedrooms and one full bathroom on the second floor. And people always ask, you know, what size bed can I fit in or how much space is in here? I can either always get measurements from the model home and verify with the builder agent that this will be built very similar uh, in terms of um, how big these rooms are to what you would be building. You can also just look at the furniture, you know, that I can always get the bed size and you can see here, those are fairly uh, good sized nightstands on either side um, of, of the bed. And so that can always help. But again, if you need to take measurements, we can always get those uh, from the builder. Now, that, that was a second bedroom. And then as you see here, there is a full bathroom that splits the three bedrooms here. So you have a tub with a separate door, which is good if multiple people are using the bathroom, one using the sink, one in the shower. And then they do have a separate door as well and space for the commode. So uh, I find in Texas we have that, uh, but in, in other areas of the United States, people say that they never see that, but I guess we value our privacy here or something like that. So we're gonna go back out to the game room and I'll come back actually to this game room. I'm gonna show the third bedroom on the second floor here in a second. Uh, but I want to take this time to mention that oftentimes when I talk about Taylor Morrison or anybody mentions Taylor Morrison, they always talk about the communities where the bidding has reached such high levels because the community is well sought after and Taylor Morrison builds really good plans. So these communities like Treviso or Bluffview or Vizcaya, where Taylor Morrison is very popular in those communities, 
Yes, the bidding has reached very high levels where it's unattainable for the majority of buyers, but also keep in mind, Taylor Morrison does have other communities that they build in where there may, may not be any bidding and it's just a wait list or something like that. And to help navigate through that, work with an agent who has experience working with builders. And I think you can find success in finding a great floor plan that's at a reasonable price. Here's another look at that large game room with the uh, shuffleboard on the side, really well done. So that's gonna be it for the Noasis plan with Taylor Morrison. If you appreciate this type of content, feel free to either like my Facebook page or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post model home walkthroughs like this every week. And if you are looking at real estate in the Austin area, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to help. Even outside of Austin, let me know. I can connect you with a good agent. Take care, everyone.